We are going to go now. Uh, easy day. We got three right here up the street, and we got a request because a party is happening tomorrow um, at a customer's house, and she said her backyard is already getting kind of. Uh, she not do till Wednesday. Uh, this coming Wednesday, so it's been like 10 days. So she asked me on like Tuesday if uh, I could schedule her uh, for today, you know, weather permitting, of course. And I said, Yep, uh, sure thing, we'll do the backyard. She wants just the backyard tightened up for her. So we're gonna run out there and uh, we're gonna knock out the backyard. And I'm not gonna use my new weed eater yet, as you know, if you watched yesterday's vlog, we got a, uh, we got a new FS. 70R steel uh, two cycle weed eater and um, we got that so my guy could use it um, doing work yesterday I sent him out on his own uh, he did eight yards by himself and he started his first yard at about quarter to nine and he finished it at around four o'clock they're all within about a quarter mile of each other all eight of them um, and actually probably less than that honestly uh, but to, you know driving around you know the little streets and stuff um, and they're all really small yards to, that you can use a push mower on or you could use if you had a Time Master 30 you could use the Time Master or um, the Troy Built 28 um, or you could go as high as a 32 inch but anything bigger than a 32 inch isn't going to fit through one, two, uh, three, um, right off the bat, three yards that I, I'm absolutely sure of, they're not going to fit. Um, so then you'd be forced to use a little mower. Now you got a big mower and a little mower. So kind of messes up things. So that the whole purpose of all those yards out there is to one day have, you know, a day of like 10 of those yards and you go out and you make 250 bucks 300 bucks depending on if they're 25 or 30 dollar yards depending on that on trimming the bushes and stuff um, because they're really small but you go out and you know you knock them out and maybe maybe you go back um, not just in two weeks but you go back in one week and you do another 10 so you have 10 on this Wednesday and next Wednesday you have another 10 so you know you're making a thousand dollars a month 250 bucks a week um, every week on those 20 small little yards you make a thousand bucks a month and you pay a contractor to go out there and do the work you know and, and you pay him he mixes it in with his day you know five or six hundred bucks a month um, you know using his gas his equipment and all that stuff and you know you make four or five hundred as a contractor right or you send your guy out there kind of as an employee um, or you pay them even less because it's your equipment and you know you help like with my situation you're helping him out you're getting him on his feet uh, but he is a licensed business so he is 1099 but I don't pay him contractor fee as as much as I should because he's actually using my equipment while he's getting on his feet but he does have his own business so I pay him 1099 um, but you know when you got you got situations like that um, you know you want to capitalize on them so we did that yesterday we sent them out we bought that new weed eater I bought him a two and a half gallon fuel jug it's all at my house I mean he's not taking it home I said I bought it for him but I mean it's for him to use um, in this situation but um, I sent him out yesterday it was a very successful day he showed back up at my house at four in the afternoon um, all the equipment was in good shape he barely used any gas out of the, the two and a half gallon thing of gas I got and I mixed it with two cycle mix and I told him use that for the mower as well so with the mower and with the the weed eater the edger which I gave him my curve shaft echo edger to use um, that I bought a while back from Walmart or I'm sorry from uh, Home Depot um, between between the mower, the handheld blower, the FS70 steel weed eater, the SRM25 or 22 or whatever the hell it is, Edger, uh, I'll have to get you the model number on that, I'm not sure what it is, but between everything he used like this much gas out of the two and a half gallon thing, so 
what a jam up day I mean that that worked out exactly the way I wanted it to work out I want maximum profit and and you know sometimes you go a little bit lower on your price so you can jam up a whole bunch of yards in one area and, and I mean you take a look at it he made a good a good pay and I kept a good pay I kept a good amount of money yesterday um, off of all that crap so he does that one more time and I'm almost gonna break even on the weed eater on my keep you know so you do that and then he does it one more time and now I'm in the green now I'm in the profit uh, and I have a spare weed eater um, for every other day so that's the deal there uh, so that's why I made the jump it was time and I'm gonna start looking uh, to see if there's more that I can do that with where you know he can go out and make a decent pay and I can go and I can afford to have him doing these other places that aren't going to, um, you know, where the customers aren't super picky. He can do a good job. And, you know, if I got to touch it up, I got to touch it up. But, you know, I don't want to let my customers down. So uh, these here, he did a good job with. Oh, excuse me. Oh. Um, so yesterday we started my video and I pressed the record button, but what happened was I hit it twice. So I actually recorded and then stopped recording and then I blabbermouth in my opening monologue for like freaking 20 minutes explaining that I was going to take the jump and send the guy out. And when I got home, I then realized it wasn't recording. That's why I don't like about like these GoPros and these Sony action cams. You can't see if you're actually recording because there's no monitor there. There's no little monitor to look at. Um, all you can do is go by sound and then look on the side of it to see if the little numbers are, are moving. Um, now this makes a Bluetooth watch that I could put a watch on here and I can see the screen as to what this is looking at, but I don't know if that would do it. I mean, I assume it would do it if you're recording. I, I assume it would show that it is recording or maybe that it's paused. I don't know, but I ain't getting that. I mean, come on. That's just crap. I'm not into that stuff, you know? I'm not out here body surfing and stuff <laughs> in waves, wondering if it's capturing it. I mean, cutting grass. <laughs> Let's cut some grass. Uh, so, anyways, I tried to, uh, you know, I did what I could to make that, that video um, informative. I tried to fill you in with the description. And then um, got some free music on there from media.co.uk. And it says that it's all free music, uh, and they, they ask that you just put the little blurb in there that, hey, free music provided by media.co.uk. So I did that, and I uploaded it, and I got a copyright claim, um, and I could dispute it, and I was like, you know what, well, what's the claim for? And it was for like a minute and a half of something. I don't even know what, but it was part of that media stuff that said that, you know, you can use this stuff for free. So I said, you know what? I ditched it. I removed it and then I re-uploaded it. So last night's video went up late because of that. Um, it actually didn't, I went to sleep before it finished process because it uploaded at like, by like 9, 30, 10 o'clock it was uploaded. And then that's when you see that there's a strike, you know, not a strike like in a bad way, but you know, that, that there's a claim. And so, you know, at that point you could just say, screw it and just let it ride. Or you could say, hey, wait a minute now. So I did the, hey, wait a minute now, and I wanted to see what's this copyright because I did what the place said to do. And I was like, you know what, then screw you. So I took that song out um, and had YouTube reprocess the video without that song. So during the mowing portion of the video, there's gonna be a little bit where there's just no music, just the sound of the equipment or whatever, um, which that's fine. And then, this morning before I left the house, I mean, Christ, it's almost nine o'clock already. Um, I sat there and took all the vlog out of the mowing clips from last night's vlog. And I'm putting up a, a mowing video where I'm just doing the pine cones, trimming the hedges, um, directional trimming with the weed eater, pulling the clippings out and then mulch mowing with the mower, the whole front yard and mulching up all the clippings and everything and then I show you the final product. So it's like 17 minutes and I did it. I'm doing it in high def. There's no sound or no no music. There's no talking, nothing. Just, just the sound of the equipment humming along uh, for all you uh, crazy lawn dudes that really love to just listen to the machines and just get into it and whatever. 
Um, so there you go. All right, so that's for you. I got that going up for you. But we're at Circle K, so I'm going to grab me a fresh coffee. Um, oh, got the kids yesterday from the bus yesterday. Uh, got the kids yesterday from the bus yesterday. Boy, that sounded good. Um, I got the kids from the bus yesterday, and uh, we had a great time. And um, went to sleep pretty late. <laughs> but, you know, hey, it was our first night together in like two weeks. So we had a really good time. And uh, we listened to some music and had some fun. And then um, we turned around and woke up this morning, got them on the bus, no problems. So I get them back off the bus today and then our weekend begins. So tonight we're going to have some fun. We're going to do some shopping tonight. Um, tomorrow we're going to do some horseback riding with my neighbor. So she's got a horse. Um, and so we're going to go do some horseback riding and, uh, you know, walk the horse around with the kids on it. And then... Um, Mother's Day Sunday, so I'll give the kids back for Mother's Day, and you know, everything's working out just good, life is pretty good, um, got some new friends, so I'm having some pretty pretty good times with that, and you know, just being myself, so hopefully some of that's starting to show in my vlogs, maybe you guys are seeing a different side of me, maybe a happier side, um, just trying to have some more fun, and just be me, the corny, goofy self that I am, who just enjoys life, and uh, you know, put all this bullshit behind us. Get out here and cut some grass, kick some ass, and make some cash. Right, Greg? All right, brother man. Well, I got that, that one done, the backyard done. Um, so that's nice. Uh, they're having a bachelorette party the whole weekend. Showing up, I guess, tonight. And they're going to be, like, people coming from all over. Uh, it's holy crap, a house full of women having a bachelorette party. Oh, I could just imagine a nee 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 hoo the gossip. Anyways, uh so that one's done. So I got the three to do by my house. So I'm gonna go home, take a leak, look at my dogs. And uh I'm gonna do some work on my equipment and then I'm gonna mow those three. Well today since we only got three large yards left to do is a great day to do some maintenance. Okay, so we're gonna do some maintenance on our 21 inch push mower and what we see right off the bat is the blade adapter and the blade have slipped. So there's some nicks on there so we definitely need to get that taken care of. We're gonna change that blade out and the adapter but first we're gonna disconnect the spark plug wire. So we have a new blade, a new adapter, and a new belt and there's the belt and a new um, air cleaner so here's the box of goodies I got this from Jack's small engines uh, they ship pretty quick so there's the adapter and it comes with the pulley built on uh, it's all one piece here comes the air cleaner for the Briggs and Stratton motor and uh, so the first thing that we're gonna end up doing here is gonna be the blade so yep that goes there wise guy uh, so here's the new blade and it's got like a star adapter type deal and that's a three-in-one blade so it's the mulching blade and you got that little star adapter so it fits in like that nice and tight the blade should not be able to move on that adapter and as you can see looking at the old one it can move on that adapter and that my friends is not good so we'll have to clean out underneath here 
we're going to get this blade off, and we're going to go ahead and get the uh, shield off uh, for the belt. So right off the bat, 5.8 socket with a ratchet. We'll loosen that up. Get that blade off. Get that out of the way. I have not. The only thing I've done to this machine is I've changed, uh, sharpened the blade a few times. So I had to kind of figure out what to do here. So you got these two bolts. They're 3 8 bolts. And that takes the uh, cover off that protects the actual transmission belt. So we got to get those two bolts out of there. So if you bear with me here, we'll do that right now. And this is why I used a TENS unit on my back. Because i got to get into all these funky positions. I don't just get to sit on my zero turn and ride. But i got to do all these funky positions and laying on the concrete. Right? You know what I'm talking about. You guys do it. We all do it. So here we go. Alright, now we got the bolts loose. We can get this adapter out of our way. Got to pull it out. or I sh I'm sorry, I should say our shield. Gonna pry this little pulley off. It's on there pretty pretty snug. It's got a little keyway that's built in. So just gotta kind of pry it down a little bit. I used the old blade for that. And then to get the belt off, you have to access the back of the machine. And you gotta get this little cover off. It's a uh I think that was also a 3 8 head on the on the bolt. So let's go ahead and get that off. And then when I got that off, I had to sit there and try to figure out what in the world am I dealing with here. So there's a little pulley up there on top of the transmission, and then there's a shield. And so you had to use a quarter-inch bolts or a quarter-inch socket and get that little shield out of your way. Once you had the shield out of your way, it's just two quarter-inch uh, bolt heads. You get that out of your way, and the belt comes right off, lickety-split, too easy. As you'll see right here, let me just pull that belt right out. And I line it up. Always line it up. And never throw away a good belt. Even if it's stretched out, if you ever break your new belt and you got to order another one, at least you'll have something to get you through. Now, the belt I have now is getting a little loose, but it still works just fine. So that'll be a great backup. But I figured, you know, since I'm taking the adapter off, and putting a new adapter on, let's just put a new belt on. So we put that on, put it all back together, just reverse your steps. So we got, we're going to have the new belt. We're going to have the new pulley with the built-in blade adapter. We're going to have a brand new blade. I mean, this thing's going to be like a brand new machine. Come on, Dan, what's taking you so long? Man, this guy would never make it in a repair shop. There we go. It's all back together. Now we just got to put the little dust cover back over to protect the pulley and belt back there where the little transmission is. It's not really a transmission. I guess they might call it that, but really it's just a gearbox. A little spring-loaded gearbox. There we go. Boy, oh, isn't this fun? And so when I'm done with all this, you guys know by now, I like to take all the machines that I work on and I like to go use them before I put them up for the weekend. So here we go. We put our new pulley on, which uh, is the blade adapter all built in. So that just slides up. You got to find a little groove, wiggle it on up. It's got a built-in keyway. Put that little black plastic shield back on to protect the belt from any debris. So you don't start shredding your belt. Put those bolts back in. Like I said, I think they were 3-8 heads. We put the blade back on. I think that's a 5 8 head. Pretty sure it is. We'll torque it down to uh, German specs, which are guten tight. So here we go. We're just going to put a little lean on it. And then we're going to get it good and tight. There we go. Now that is nice and tight. Now we got one more thing to do, and that's going to be this little air cleaner. That's the original air cleaner from last year. Little adapter. We don't need that. That must be for a little girl's mower or something. Not for this 190cc motor. 
we are ready to go. Put the spark plug wire back on. Go ahead and look at the camera and give us a thumbs up. All right, guys, so that's it. So we did that one special request and um, got that backyard done and we got some maintenance done today. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to finish doing the video. It's a little after noon. It's like 1230 right now, 1231. So I'm going to finish this video and have this video saving. And while this video is saving, this vlog, uh, I'm going to go do three those three yards that are together and do some video on that and get that up this weekend. That way, uh, when I get my kids off the bus in about three and a half hours, four hours, um, I'll be done with my day. I'll be done with my vlog for the day and I won't have to mess around with any of that. And I'll get this lawn service, depending on what, how long it takes me to do the lawn service, I'll start um, doing that and get that up either late tonight once the kids go to bed or something or tomorrow morning I'll get this lawn service video up of uh, servicing these three yards and um, and I'm going to use the uh, the FS uh, or FX uh, whatever the hell it is the steel FS uh, 70R uh, the new uh, weed eater I bought so I'll give a, I'll use that on these three yards and give you guys a first impression on it uh, let you know what I think about it um, I'm using a 100 right now a four mix uh, powerful machine uh, so, uh, we'll see how this one works out. Uh, I hear a lot of good things about it. And yesterday my guy said it, it was awesome. So I'll go do those three yards and video it, do some video and put my, uh, just maintained machines to use and make sure that they're good through the weekend now. And we'll, you know, be able to be ready for Monday. Um, next week, we got a good week and we're going to end it with some pressure washing. So, um, thank you all for watching. And uh, like I said, next video up should be the uh, mowing vids. All right. So uh, you guys have a great weekend. And all you mothers out there, and I mean you mothers, uh, you mother, you guys have a great weekend too. All right. Bye.